this is your computer number one. You have the deadline, scadenza, and the date. It tells you what the file name must be, which is your Italian name. I'm going to send it to you, don't worry. And the due date. Remember that you can save it in one of these three formats. RTF is the safest one, and uh, it's the one preferred if you want to avoid uh, receiving viruses uh, and other stuff. The other ones can contain macros that you might not, may or may not be able to detect, and you can inadvertently download viruses onto your computer. Email subject, Otto Junior which is the due date, 2017, which is the year we are in. Now, when you look at your homework assignment, compito, you'll see that some tasks are highlighted in yellow, and that is uh, required work. The blue highlight may be busy work, or could be reading, or things of that sort, that I have no way of grading. Task 1. In uh, every single compito, you will have to copy and paste these statements. Late compiti with the wrong file name or and sent with the wrong email subject will be deleted. Period. Second statement. I have not used any translators of any kind, person or electronic. I've only used word reference when necessary. I understand that if I am caught cheating, it will be reported as plagiarizing. If you use a different method, a translator, Google translation, anything, um, I will be able to find out almost immediately because inevitably you will include language uh, that contains some grammar rule or some exceptions or some particular usage that you have not been exposed to and then I will find out immediately. It will be transparent to me. So be smart, don't do that, okay? Everything that I am going to assign is going to be available for you in the various materials that I'm providing. So it really requires that you focus, study, concentrate, and then produce the language. There is no other way for me to give you a fair grade, and I'm sure you understand that. It's for, it's to ensure fairness to all. Okay. And here are the various compiti. One of them is to create a YouTube account record yourself, read the instructions, and it will be clear what you have to do. When you do your compito, I don't want you to copy or introduce any kind of formatting. Formatting is tables, or it can even be used bullet lists or numbered lists, or pagination, columns. I don't want any of that. Everything has to be plain vanilla. Because if you start including formatting, then it makes it a nightmare for me to make corrections and uh, to highlight errors and all the other stuff. Simply type, do not use any kind of formatting, just plain, simple text. For instance, one of the tasks is this esercizio interattivo. Okay. Here is Oggi Domani, my website, and here is Lesson 1 in the online textbook. One of the assignments is this exercise. It is an interactive exercise. You click on it, and then you find that you have to do traduzione. Traduzione means translation. Now, I don't want you to copy and paste this table. I said no formatting whatsoever, but also absolutely no copy-paste. 
what I want you to do is to retype the input and then give the answer. My name is, in Italian, is Io mi chiamo. Of course, if you want, you can copy this little sentence, paste it in your compito, and then next to it or underneath, you give the answer. But then you're fooling yourselves. Because when the input, for instance, is in Italian, which will be, then you basically cut off or reduce one of the possibilities for you to force your brain to remember things, to write correctly, to use the correct spelling, and so forth. So even in this case, it's a pure mnemonic exercise. Yes, it's English, so you know those things in English. But instead of copying the sentence, you look at the sentence, go to your computer, and you write, my name is, and then provide the answer. This exercise, this specific exercise, provides an answer key. There is a button at the bottom that can't be seen in this screen that says Controlla. In the future, I will remove the button and I will give you the answers after you turn in your computer and your computer will be the base for your grades and then for the final grade.